Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I'm gonna be speaking about a bit about Orisha in the next coming vids as well. Um, because I've been doing a lot of Orisha work lately. So I thought, you know, let me speak about it. And also because by now, you know, I mainly work with the Goetia and at times with angels. But I'm also very close and very committed with the Orisha. So before I start the vid, guys, continue liking, continue sharing and subscribing. And again, if you need work done on your behalf, um, spell work that's not just angel magic or with the Goetia, I also work with the Orisha. I'll be honest, um, there's a lot more involved with the Orisha. So those spells do cost a bit more. Uh, it's not going to break your bank account, but it does cost a bit more. And when I explain this spell with one of them now, you'll, you'll get an idea of what it involves. Um, so the specific one is done with Shango. It's a silencing spell to shut someone up. And it's extremely powerful. Uh, this is exceptionally good for if you're going to court and you want someone to just shut up or to say what you want them to say. Whether it's the prosecutor, the judge, or the person who's suing you, be it your soon-to-be ex-wife or ex-husband, whatever the case. You want someone to shut the hell up and you need it done. You know you need it done. Um, go straight to the Risha with Call on Shango. Uh, there are many others, but I... And when I speak of Shango, I get the father figure from him and uh, when I spend time with him I always refer to him as Father Shango someone might not like it or say I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about well that's what I experience so I'm going to be speaking a bit more about Orisha and the other words as well but they, 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 they're different they're different uh, when I spend time with them and I really and I know they're with me and they're working the spell with me I don't just feel their presence I feel a rhythm like yeah, you'll experience a rhythm within you. you. You'll almost start to move and you don't realize you're moving. Um, okay, so before you start any work with um, the Orisha in the spell form, make sure you've done a, a successful welcoming with them before, a successful opening of the way with them. If you're not sure what that is, give me a shout. I'll offer that as well. I will guide you through it uh, or I'll do it for you. So you have to have an opening of the way, way, way with them, with Papa Legba. And then the desired Odisha. So once that's out the way, you got your sh you want to do your shut up spell now. So, uh, nice size altar area, call it what you like altar area. White tablecloth, uh, preferably white plates if you're going to use plates. It doesn't have to be, but at least white tablecloth or white material. Have a decent amount of printed pics of Shanga or statues of him. Really adorned everywhere, so it looks quite bright and vibrant, you know. I have lots of offerings for the Risha. Uh, in Shango's case, you can use um, glasses of rum, pumpkins, pumpkin seeds, fruits. Just adorn it there. Even some bark you can add to it as well. It just shows respect and it shows a bit of understanding of who you are coming into your home. Like, if you invite your aunt over and you know for a fact she's a vegetarian, you're going to probably prepare a vegetarian deal, meal, right? It shows respect and it shows acknowledgement. So do that. So that's his part. And of course his candles um, use black, yellow and orange or or, um, or white if you can't find that. So <coughs> at least three candles. Each of these name on it. Now for the shut up part. And remember, you always have a petition. So what you're about to visualize and call on is written down as well. So you have his pics, his sigil, your petition. Your full name, your location, who it is you want to shut up and when. And you can even add why. Uh, you know, really elaborate. So the materials in this is pretty simple. Jar, cow's tongue, a picture of the person you need to shut up. Put the picture on the tongue with their full name, location written on there. Pin it down with either a pin or a rusted nail if you want further effect. You put this in the jar. Try and let it ferment for a few days before you start the spell. So when that's a bit like nasty, put everything together and go forward. Play African drum music in the background. Google it. Um, Orisha drum music. Play it in the background softly. Start calling on Shango. Work in the spell. And again, if you're not sure how to do it, or if you want better results, you can hit me up. That's one of the services I offer. Um, again, with the Orisha, always wear white um, when working the spell or calling on them initially uh, and work in such a spell if you don't have full white you can also be naked which is actually extremely powerful i'll do a bit on that some other time as to why it's powerful 
and for the Orisha one, uh, you need a bit more tension than the Goetia. Um, you got to be extremely kind and patient with them, you know. And like I normally will work a spell three or four days, depending on what type of spell it is. But to the Orisha, I will do it at least five to seven days. And I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Really stretch it out, spend that extra time with them. And it will work. Um, guys, till next time, be blessed.